Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. This is a COVID memorial service for the Hood community. It was a year ago this week that, like many places around the world, Hood College stopped its usual way of doing things and we went virtual. So much has changed in this last year and there have been so many sacrifices, not the least of which has been that when we lose the people we love, we have not been able to be with them in the way that we have traditionally and in the way that we know we need to be. And so this service this afternoon recalls those people that we have loved, those who have lost their lives to COVID as well as those who have died of other causes, but who have been touched as have their families and loved ones by the reality of COVID and the separation we have from each other. So in that spirit, I want to invite you to this time of memorial and thank you for being here. Um, I'm Beth O'Malley, I'm the Dean of the Chapel at Hood and playing for us today is Lynn Stanninger who is our choral director. I invite you to begin with me this afternoon in the spirit of prayer. Holy One, by all the names we know you, we ask for strength and peace as we remember and give thanks for the richness of those lives that we'll remember this afternoon. As we recall them, may they be an inspiration for us. As the sun is shining on the beautiful Hood campus this afternoon, may the memory of each life be a light for our paths. Amen. Our service this afternoon will be a simple one as we simply read the names of those who have been remembered by loved ones at Hood. This is a combination of students, faculty, staff, alumni, and so some names will be familiar to you, others may not, but they are all important members of the Hood community. And so I invite you to take this as a time of prayer as you hear and give thanks for each name. Dawn and Roger Williams, loved ones of Matthew Shade, Pamela Davis, loved one of Jennifer Crater. Maud Barr, loved one of Timothy Barr. David Flanders, neighbor and friend of Claire Hudson. Gerald Carell, grandfather of Jordan Reed Estes. Boris Hirshhorn, and Bruce Edward Buzdegon, father and husband of Ricky Hirshhorn. Jack and Ellie Lesser, mother-in-law and father-in-law of Kathy Falkenstein. Hans Wagner, beloved Hood colleague, friend, and mentor. Beverly Spitzer, loved one of April Bolton. Chuck Ford and Joe Svarslaski, loved ones of Lisa Copenhaver. Mary Jane Bauer, loved one of Ruella and Lane Lascolette. Sarah Muhammad Davis, loved one of the O'Malley Young family. Jean Gibbard and Bill Prost, loved one of the Chap Delane Tetro family. Michael Ward, Richard Ward, Beverly Ward Wilbur, Sherry Wilbur Powell, Claudia Ayers, and Matt DeRolo, loved ones of Lori Ward. Barbara Mann, aunt of Chuck Mann, Vito Grimaldi, brother-in-law of Bill Brown. Edmund Knowles, father-in-law of Bill Hobbs. Michael Collins, 
loved one of Lisa Littlefield and family. Wajiha Alaya, grandmother of Amani Aldejani. Helen Stanninger, Ray Pratt, Bill Collings, Neely Crutchley, loved ones of Lynn Stanninger. David Wilson, father of Melanie Eiler. Minister Era Mae Beach, grandmother of Candace Baker. John and Edie Buono and Margaret Carr, grandparents of Nina Carr. Gloria Davis, Pat Ricciardi, Jake and Carol Slepian, loved ones of Hilary Stipperman. Christopher Snyder, friend of Nancy Heiser. And for all of those who have lost vital time and connection with their loved ones, not through death, but through their separation because of COVID prohibitions and medical care, senior care facilities, and prisons, those who live at a distance and have been separated and unable to have meaningful contact. And finally, for those whose names today, but who are held in our loving hearts by all who love them. May the spirit of our loved ones know peace, and may their memories be a blessing. I invite you to share this time of quiet reflection as we listen to a special hymn.
Friends, may we leave this place this afternoon thankful for amazing grace, for the gift of these lives, and for the opportunity each one of us has to keep their memories alive. May we leave this place in peace. Thank you for joining us. Go in blessing.